They've been warning us about this the whole time. They in the clouds. I don't. See, I think they don't want to scare us when they are too big. They they like to hide in clouds. That is amazing. Some people live in fear, but I don't. Leaked UFO footage. This is absolutely amazing evidence. Right, so you can hear it a little bit as it went by, as the two ships went by. You can hear a little bit of a disturbance. With that in mind, watch. Hey, would it be? It's your boy Dre OG. Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're rocking with the vibes and the content. But look, I appreciate my subscribers that got their notifications on. Y'all always show up and it's much appreciated. You know what I'm saying? That we all vibing out together on this journey. But look, man, we're on our way to a million someday. We'll get there. But look, this video right here is so lit. Just make sure that y'all stay locked in, man. Uh, but let's get straight to the video. Let's not waste no more time. Hopefully y'all having a good day. Just know we're going through this thing called life together. For real. Let's get it. I started out extremely skeptical about this whole thing. I thought this was just rubbish from the tabloids, but I was surprised to find thousands of U.S. government documents from intelligence agencies that tended to indicate that there was a little bit more to this than uh, met the eye. So I went to seek guidance from the various highest levels of the United States intelligence community, and uh, I was quite alarmed at what I was able to learn. Now we are, in this report that, that we're now going to show, we're going to hear a conversation featuring you. Tell me the context of that conversation. Well, I had contacted Admiral Bobby Ray Inman, who was the head of the National Security Agency in the United States, uh, Deputy Director at CIA, uh, Director of Naval Intelligence, and, and a variety of intelligence posts, uh, a, very, a technologist, and uh, clearly someone that, if this was really uh, accurate, that there really were UFOs and uh, non-human intelligence around, uh, this is a man who had to know. Mm -hmm. So I was able to contact him, thanks to uh, a contact through Admiral Lord Hill, Norton here in the uh, UK uh, and this uh, conversation he alarmingly uh, not only indicated that uh, these issues were covered under national secrecy laws but that the United States government did in fact have possession of the hardware associated with this in other words this was an actual physical phenomenon as a the craft a spaceship several of them and they were in operational condition which I assume suggested that uh, they had been in contact that they had been given these craft for some reason or another because they certainly weren't crashed vehicles do, do you uh, anticipate that any of the recovered vehicles would ever be uh, become available for uh, technological research outside of the uh, military circles? Uh, again, I honestly don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, ten years ago, the answer would have been no. Yeah. Uh, whether as time has evolved, they're beginning to become more open on it, is a possibility. A short time later, Bob Exler received this call. Mr. Eckler, this is Tom King in Admiral Inman's office. Yes, you would be breaching confidence and, and or violations of the secrecy laws and discussing his involvement in any matter. I heard up. what you said earlier, but obviously the big problem always is the pictures are never conclusive. The pictures, yes, are not conclusive, but when you get involved in an investigation and you find the extraordinary physical evidence left behind, and you find, you talk to the witnesses, medical doctors, uh, officials of uh, governments and so forth, uh, and the, one of the cases that we had just seen uh, some video from, there was a Canadian official who was actually uh, uh, taken on board the craft. Uh, uh, when you subject these uh, areas of testimony to uh, lie detectors, polygraph exams, using the kind of technology that we have to determine whether someone's actually telling the truth or not, uh, the results become absolutely nothing short of alarming. Okay, if these governments, the Canadian government, the American government, if they are in possession of spacecraft, if they have made contact with aliens, why don't they tell us? What I was able to learn is that the issue of secrecy uh, dates back into the uh, early 1950s. And in 1959, actually, NASA had a study conducted by the Brookings Institution in Washington, D.C., addressing the issue of whether this uh, alarming issue of a confrontation with an extraterrestrial culture uh, should be re uh, released to the public, this information. Uh, it was determined that there would be grave consequences for just an overt uh, uh, public pronouncement by government 
government officials. Uh, so a determination. What does that mean? We would all panic. Well, not necessarily, necessarily just panic, but the issues that it presented, uh, not only theology, but issues involving economics, uh, uh, standards of monetary uh, concerns. Of course, of course. Uh, if you acknowledge a uh, type of technology that renders fossil fuel related industries That's all they care about, for example, money. you have grave consequences economically all the way around the of world. Course you do. All our values are rendered so useless, the determin worthless then, the, yes. Yeah, the determination was made that the only way to avoid this chaos would be through a slow indoctrination process over a matter of decades. You really believe? Have you, have you had a close encounter, as they say, or have you seen UFOs? Well, I wouldn't really call it a close encounter. I think uh, it has more to do with the contacts I've had with the U.S. intelligence community and being a technologist uh, and being called in to analyze uh, uh, various video films and photographic evidence. Uh, it, it's quite conclusive to me. I have, in fact, uh, seen with my own eyes uh, on quite a number of occasions, uh, well over 20, uh, at, at very close range, a number of these vehicles. It's quite extraordinary technology. Anybody interested in technology would be, it's like a kid in a candy store, really. And there's no way that you could be mistaken and it could have been an airplane, helicopter, or something of that nature? Mm, well, Admiral Inman convinced me that uh, these vehicles were uh, not manufactured by human technology, so uh, that's pretty conclusive for me. Do you think, though, that the government know this is happening, know that it's going on, but why don't they want the rest of us to know? Why do they not want that? Uh, yes, you are correct. The government, uh, many governments around the world uh, uh, do in fact know. In fact, NATO conducted a study in the 60s involving quite a, quite a number of these incidents. Uh, the decisions uh, to maintain secrecy regarding this uh, center more around uh, not upsetting the economic apple cart, uh, uh, religion, theology issues uh, that come into play, and quite a number of issues that uh, essentially center around science and technology. Uh, we do have to come to grips with the reality that uh, perhaps human beings aren't the only intelligence uh, in the universe and that uh, they have in fact been here to visit in spite of uh, projects uh, like the NASA SETI project, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence in, uh, in deep space. Uh, th there are serious issues associated with this and we have uh, a mentality where we like to kind of poke fun at the mm. issue through tabloids and so forth. And like this kind of thing, this is what we, we perceive an alien to be like. Well, these are actual uh, photographs taken from a case up in Canada right. uh, that have indeed been authenticated by a Canadian government official who was taken on board the craft and uh, apparently had some form of telepathic communication with the, uh, uh, the occupants, the pilots of the vehicle, as you might say. Uh, they are different than us, but it's interesting to note that they are humanoid and that, that mm -hmm. they have uh, uh, two arms and hands and two eyes and so forth. They're, they're quite much like us, only in, in significant ways they're different. Uh, of course, we're, you know, if there's one that comes there's obviously going to be more and just like we have different species of humans on this planet I'm quite certain there's different species of, uh, of alien life forms so you know what though he just gave away a big thing that I've been talking about there's different species of humans yes there is and that's why I be telling y'all look we all different here y'all we're all different we are capable of different different things so, I mean, these people talk about this behind the scene, but in public and in, with the, in their teachings, they want to say that we're all the same. That's because they know a lot about what's going on outside of our universe. But yeah, let's continue. We could run into malevolence. In fact, President Reagan on several occasions uh, uh, alerted concern about the potential hostilities from outer space and, and why it would be important for us to work together on this planet with superpowers and so on mm. uniting. Bob, thanks very much indeed. It does seem strange that we can't get on with one another in this world. So you, you wonder whether we will get on with, with aliens. But thank you. Right, thank, thank you. you. And I appreciate him, though, because he wasn't scared. He came over with that comb over and everything. You what know, is your occupation at Area 51? I won't answer that. I have had reason to be present at Area 51. But I'm not going to clarify whether or not I was there as an employee. Are you saying you were there as a visitor? I'm not going to specify why or in what capacity I was there. Only that I was there. Can you tell us how many times you were there? When I agreed to this, my fundamental ground rule was that I would not be asked to divulge personal data that might help pinpoint my identity. Right. If you continue to ask questions that right. are out of bounds, I won't hesitate to terminate this interview. Are you saying that the number of times you were present at Area 51 is enough to pinpoint your identity? Any specifics will narrow the field of suspects. Of course, I could lie. Let's say I've been there 47 times, or anyway, more than once. Let's turn to the tape itself. The copy you've supplied is not the original tape. No. Was the original at Area 51 when you copied it? 
that's out of balance. Is it fair to assume that the copying of tapes at Area 51 is heavily restricted? You can assume anything you like. I would say that's a fair assumption. That's obvious. I will say that this tape was copied under special circumstances. Otherwise, copying it would have been impossible. Can you be more specific? More specific? Okay, I'm sure they figured this much out already. Recently, there was a wholesale transfer of video documentation from analog tape to digital disk storage. In a couple of instances, this allowed data to leak from a highest security system to a less high security system. Even so, this particular tape was the only... I think that's about all I'll say about that. Was there something about this particular clip that made it more accessible to be copied? Not necessarily, no. Was there something about the content that caused them to file it differently or give it special handling? This interview was terminated. The interview resumed only after a discussion of the ground rules. Have you personally seen the alien being that appears in the tape? Yes, I have, but I stress I was not necessarily present at the interview session that appears on the tape. I'm not going to be specific. I may have encountered the being at another time. What can you tell us about the alien interview we're about to see? This one is rather recent, very late in the series. The interview process has been ongoing since the being arrived, which was in 1989. Approximately twice a month, they sit it down for a session that generally lasts from three to five hours. If they try to go longer than that, or if they schedule the sessions more frequently, the being becomes unresponsive. There's a fair amount of infighting among the scientists from different disciplines to get their questions asked. What is the alien revealed? Various minor technical details of the saucers. The physicists and engineers are frankly frustrated. They feel the being is withholding information. Possibly concepts are getting lost because all the information has to come through a telepath. But also it may be that the bulk of their scientific knowledge is just too advanced to be translated into our primitive conceptual framework. It's analogous to if a human scientist were to try to translate quantum mechanics into the grunts and screeches of a chimpanzee. It's not a very flattering comparison. Frankly, there's a high attrition rate for scientists in the program. You'd think they'd be energized by the challenge. But a lot of them take uh, the ego deflation very hard when they find out not only how much they don't know, but how much they aren't even capable of understanding. What else has the alien communicated? Oddly enough, the being seems to have a much easier time communicating spiritual concepts. Message. Message. Amazing UFO footage. Observe con cuidado. Bello, 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 bello. Look at that. Fantastico. Bellissimo. Watchers in England have captured what they say is a flying saucer on video. They claim the object was 15 meters in diameter and was filmed while hovering over a field in Wiltshire. 10 News went looking for answers after someone snapped these pictures of an unidentified object flying over the San Diego skyline. Now take a closer look at the left-hand corner of your screen. You can see something there in the sky and some are calling it San Area 51. The Volteo a ver las nubes y mi sorpresa que, que estaba justo arriba de esa casa, estaba sobre los cables, se veía, la, se veía la, el, el, el objeto. Eh, yo saco mi celular para, para, eh, para grabarlo porque siempre había sido un sueño, eh, más que nada así, tan cerca. Y ver algo así. Ver algo así tan cerca. A ver, entonces ese día tú estabas aquí trabajando con otras personas, de repente observaste... Te diste cuenta al ver las nubes sí. que hacia allá, esa parte que estaba muy nublada, había algo que llamaba la atención, ¿verdad? Justo arriba de los, de los cables que se ven ahí, sí. pero, pero exactamente arriba de la casa. Platícanos, eh, ¿cuándo pasó esto? ¿En qué it. fecha? ¿En qué horario? ¿Y qué estabas haciendo? ¿Y cómo, cómo te diste cuenta? I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like, looking at this saucer right here, 
to me, it appears to be pretty authentic. But, you know, like, just from the first look, be for real with you. That makes people feel small when they see shit like that. Now let's watch this. UFOs that look like clouds or clouds that look like UFOs. You see when the, the craft are very big. Yeah. That's we think that they cover with vapor. Yeah, I know where that come from. Nope, right? The movie Nope. That's what they was talking about. We got many different instances of this. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all have ever seen but this in move, person. They move with the paper without losing the shape. That cloud was there for hours. People start watching the cloud and you can, I mean, you can think whatever you want. For hours and... It didn't move for hours. And then the light. Look at that. It looks like a huge crowd. Look at that. It looks... In these instances, are y'all pulling out y'all phones recording what you're doing in these situations? That one's shaped like an egg. These are very unnatural shapes for clouds. Color correction to show that it's actually a dense object. Look at that. See how big it is how big y'all think that is probably like like 100 meters long maybe even bigger you ain't never seen a cloud do no it come on now I never seen something like that. Look at that one. Is that a cloud? Definitely not a cloud, but that one looks skeptical to me. Craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. It's like it's cool. <laughs> what is that? Like, like, uh, what are y'all doing in these moments when you see weird stuff? I haven't seen anything to the extreme of some of these videos, though. I've seen crafts, but these are very defined and you know a lot of the times we can tell when something is you know somebody's trying to pull wool over our eyes when they're trying to be fake with it you know some of these might be some good fakes but nigga it got me because this shit look real to me what do y'all think of the comments down below you know this is interesting they're like a portal though they ain't look like no have shit you seen, have you seen this square card? I've seen a cloud like that before. I ain't gonna lie to you. But if I'm an alien, why do I get an aircraft that's shaped like a box though? You feel me like? I don't know, I think it's enough evidence. I'd be mad as hell. They've been warning us about this the whole time. They in the clouds. I don't. See, I think they don't want to scare us when they are too big. 
They, they like to hide in clouds. That is amazing. Some people live in fear, but I don't. Leaked UFO footage. This is absolutely amazing evidence. Right, you can hear it a little bit as it went by, as the two ships went by, you can hear a little bit of a disturbance. With that in mind, watch this. Okay, see how that happened? Boom, right away the first one comes in, it's all broken up digital signal. Here you go. There's the first one. Watch, here you go. With the type of technology that they're using, it might cause interference. Real Boom, talk. it's breaking up everything. Then the second one goes by. Come on, everybody. This is very slow mo. Look at that. Take, take a second. Look at that ship. Pause it now. At this moment, y'all, y'all go to uh, Google or whatever and go to the movie Nope and look at the angle of the ship and look exactly. I think they got I, I think they might have referenced this from real crafts. I, me personally, I haven't seen a craft with a hole in the middle like that other than on that movie. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all thinking. This shit crazy. Folks, that is a starship and it's a Sepolian ship. They love the circle. And this video clearly shows a UFO hovering in the sky. Take a close look and see what happens. I want to fly one. Let these. us take that one more time and this is from 2022. I really think it's time for the government to start telling the truth. Mm. I have videos that you guys have never seen before. Many people was not believing me, but trust me I have all the evidence. What I have here is another amazing UFO footage. It clearly shows a UFO flying right by the plane, filmed inside a fighter aircraft called a Sukhoi Su-57. And I promise you this is no CGI or no balloon or something like that. This is absolutely real. Like, comment and share this video with as many people as possible so we can get the truth out there. It's, it's said that they don't like the nuclear wars and stuff like that that we have going on. So when these aircrafts, these fighter jets are carrying like live missiles and stuff like that, they're just here to monitor to make sure that we ain't fucking at the planet up, you know? Real talk. Chap here in the blue sweater. Now, you, you've got a good view of it. What do you think it was? Um, I think it was a spaceship. A spaceship? Yep. Was, well, why do you think that, in all seriousness? Well, it had a hole through the middle, but it was sort of hard around the outside. The clouds couldn't pass through the outside of it. Could go through the middle, though. Have you ever seen anything like it before? No. Not nothing like that. And how long were you able to see it? I was up in the window, I saw it about three minutes. Three minutes? Yeah. Was it sort of hovering, or...? No, it's just going around like a wheel. Just going over. Now, you got a good view of it. Describe it to me. Well, it was sort of a um, black, blackish grey ring going across the sky and it was dark on one side and in the bottom it had a sort of little line through it and it was moving across the sky slowly and then it disappeared behind the tree. Miss Green, did you see the, the phantom object yourself? I saw it, yes. Now, how would you describe it? Uh, very much as the children did, as a, it appeared to be a, a smoke ring. But, you know, that's the best way that I can describe it, as a smoke ring. Any theories as to what it no might be? No theories at all. None at all. I mean, obviously, people are going to speculate men from Mars or what have you. I mean, the, the only thing I can say really is that I'm glad there were a lot of other people who saw it at the same time as I. I was, my friend Philip here was trying to find I a way over the stream, and I was looking at the bushes up the top of the trees, and then uh, suddenly this silver cigar-shaped object seemed to pop up from behind the bushes and uh, trying to take off. Then it disappeared again. Well, I saw the spaceship. I didn't see the man. The spaceship, it looked a cigar shape with a dome on it. It had yellowy, orange to red light on the top of it. How clearly did you see it? Well, I, did, I couldn't see its face because it was too far away. Oh, you say you saw a man as well, did you? Yes. And what about him? Well, he was too far away to be seen as well. Are you sure it wasn't perhaps just a helicopter or an aircraft from the airfield near well, here? A helicopter? could land there, but it, it's that's private property over there. And if they landed there, they could be prosecuted. And with an aircraft, the only thing that could get in there was a Harrier. 
Were you frightened at the time? Yes. Why? Well, I thought that there would be a whole army inside there or something. I know that, that uh, 16 children saw it. And did they all see the same thing, do you think? Uh, there's a common core of similarity between all their descriptions. I, I, I got them to draw and to write what they saw. Do y'all see how them children are answering the questions about this stuff? And they know exactly. They all have the same stories. And they're answering the questions so quick. Like they can recall on this information because it was fresh and it happened. And it's documented in the newspapers and everything. I'm absolutely sure of what I saw okay. that day. I saw an object that was large, cigar shaped, silver. After 30 years, I'm no nearer the understanding than I was on the day that I saw it. But I am 100% sure that what I saw that day is as we reported it. Still when as I an adult. About this, I didn't believe it at all. Still as an adult, they, they still it still sits with them. So I, I, I empathize, sympathize with people that are out here in the world and you feel like you're crazy and nobody believes you. Because we, everybody in this world has had that feeling when you feel like nobody else agrees with you on this because they haven't experienced it yet. So a lot of people don't get that in their minds until they fully experience something like that. So just, you know, listen to people, you know, try to get an understanding for what they're going through, too. And that goes with other things that's going on in life, too, as well. You know, uh, somebody says you want to meet Bud Hopkins. Who's he? This was two and a half years ago. Oh, he's a man who believes in people, stories of people who have been taken on to spaceships. I thought he must be crazy and the people he's working with must be not so at all. Uh, what I discovered was that he was talking about people who are completely sincere. They don't claim they've been taken by aliens anyways. They're very reluctant to come forward with their stories. The stories that they were telling consistently as I began to meet with these people myself, there was nothing in my psychiatric work over 40 years that prepared me for the consistency of these stories, the fact that they're told by children as young as two years old with physical marks, cuts, scoop marks, and the rest, the association with UFOs and that these are not people who are mentally ill. And there's nothing in my background that prepared me for this set of right. experiences. As a psychiatrist, you are telling us they're not mentally ill. These they're, are not delusions we're talking about. Absolutely not. They, they are troubled people because, as you heard from Pat and Michael, traumatic. these are very disturbing experiences and they have a kind of post-traumatic quality to them. But it's not just post-traumatic because they, this can happen again to them at any time. It's not like over once it's happened. And those experiences are disturbing. But the disturbing feelings, experiences they have, does <laughs> in no way accounts for the experience. What is causing this, that's the mystery. I've had people come to me saying they want to be told this is a dream, a fantasy. Even they want, I had a man that came to me just last week and said, I, Doctor, I'm coming to you because I want you to tell me that I'm crazy. I don't want to believe that these experiences are real. The implications for this person's worldview are so staggering. But as Freud once said, theory doesn't prevent facts from showing up. It's nonsense to attribute this to the hypnosis itself. I, increasingly, I'm seeing people who remember a good deal of the story Absolutely. before hypnosis. Right. They okay. remember being taken on, this, question, though, taken on to the spacecraft. They remember the beans. But the, the experience is so disturbing that the mind puts it down and puts it out of mind. And anything we can use to help people relax and go inward and bring back the experience can help bring it forward. But to say that because they're filling out the experience with hypnosis that therefore the hypnosis okay, generates it's not, not right <laughs> nothing that we've experienced prepares you for the power of what these people go through during the hypnosis sessions the, the intense fear the body shaking the the rage the, the sense of humiliation it's it's completely persuasive because of the emotional power of what comes forth it just cannot be fantasy it cannot be something that's made up Okay. And that, that's what's hard to convey if you're just looking at the content of the report. I think this kind of debate, which is healthy in a way, but it's also preventing us from getting on with what these powerful experiences that are happening to so many hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, what does this mean for this culture? A lot of the people who have these experiences, actually, when they face up to them and when they really go into it deeply, grow as human beings. Do you know what they, it means? I don't know what it means, but it certainly means something that could be maturing for be us as a species if we right. face up. Right, you're going to get those people that's ignorant and they're always willing to like downplay somebody else's personal situation and what they went through. I'm not a person that stands for stuff like that, you know? And, and if I do, 
overstep, I will come back to that and I will do the right things. You know what I'm saying? You got to like for that, you know, you can't invalidate somebody's feelings about something that really happened to them or they deem that, that that's something that's real that happened to them. You know, that's what's wrong with, uh, I'm going to say United States in particular. We fucked up. Sí. So insensitive. <laughs> but so sensitive at the same time. On live TV. Look at that shit. On live TV. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't make this up. On live TV. No scary music. Enough with the scary music. It ain't. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. I have a hard time believing this one. All right. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about that one. Is it that 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 shit fake? But look at these clouds, though. Very unnatural. Look at all the people out there watching this shit. It's like a wave, bro. Upside down way. What do we call this type of cloud? Come on now. That's not normal. Things are changing. It's definitely not normal. Look at that. You can't make this stuff up. Larry, I don't know the answer to that. But I do know this. That my personal opinion is that the universe is so big. And now there are even theories that there might be other universes. Yeah, of course. And if that's the case, who am I to say that planet Earth is the only location of a life form that is civilized and organized. He like said ours. civilized? But I'll tell you what that... He says... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to stop that clip right there. He said civilized? Do, do y'all agree with that, though? Let's have a real conversation, y'all. I know some of y'all be like, Dre, don't pause the video in the middle of the video. Oh, we're going to do it for this one. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. He said we civilized. Where, when has the last time we've been civilized? In the history of us being all here together, us different species of humanoids, when have we been civilized? When have things been civilized? It'll tell you a lot about why other extraterrestrials don't even want to come down here and fuck with us, you know? They just want to use us like the people that use us for our talents and get money off of it, you know? So, you, you you know, this shit this shit crazy, bro. Like, who are we? The audacity to say that we're civilized. No, we're not. Do you see what's happening over across the seas? Do you see what's happening to innocent children and people? We're civilized, though, right? I bet. It makes me Stop. think. I better be a better steward of what we have. Because uh, we're messing it up. Now, this is in South America. How do we explain something like that? It's a pyramid and a flashlight. It might be two flashlights. The other one is probably pointing directly this way. I ain't even going to cap on this one. I'm going in the house, y'all. I'm going straight to the crib. <laughs> That look like they looking for somebody. What is... I don't know. I ain't even see that part when I downloaded that. Expensive. 
एरिया आ रहे आज उन्नीस अगस्त गुजरवाली चौक से हमने यहाँ पे एक यू एफ ओ दिखा एरियन लैंड हो रहे हैं Yeah, I see it right there. message you know what's crazy though a lot of people have a hard time with dealing with this type of stuff but you got to think man back in uh with the roswell situation when the aircraft crashed you know we collected that stuff they lied to the public about what actually happened and you got to think about the people that seen that shit happen and then they're gonna tell them that they're crazy that it never happened it's crazy though but Answer this for me, though, too. You know, we have communication. We have great communication on this channel. That's what I appreciate about the people that tune in. But since back, I forgot the year that that happened, right? It was a long fucking time ago, right? Over 50 years ago, probably. Do you think that they re-engineered that stuff? I'm going to go ahead and give you all my answer. Yes. They trying to reverse engineer everything. Who wouldn't? Would you? I would. So what do you think the government is doing? We already have those aircraft. But... My thought is, just a thought on this one, I don't think that we're, our, our crafts are as advanced as the extraterrestrials. As we've seen on this video, you know, they didn't want to give, they, they can't divulge that information because we can't even comprehend it. The technologies that they even use for their crafts. But I, we do have crafts, and these are some of the ones that y'all can actually see sometimes. Because they can't move at those certain speeds and stuff that the extraterrestrials are moving at. But it is what it is, though. Let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel. You can get a picture with the root ball there. That's always exciting. It is. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all, that's not, that's not normal. <laughs> Did y'all see it? Did you see it? I'm talking to y'all like we live or something. I'm, I'm, I'm so used to doing live, like look at this though. It's gonna be somewhere in here. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna float. It's gonna be in this part of this, part of the screen. Right here. It's gonna be over here. So, right there. Boom. I'm saying. Look how big it is. What was that? Look how big it was. I got that. I got that. Nah, we're gonna go back. Look how big it is. What was that? You guys. What? 
Come on now. Look at that. And then look at the little orb that's inside of the cloud, though. I don't know if this... That shit right there? That is a mothership, people. And just my thoughts. This is a mothership. Could be a cloud, too. But I don't think that shit is a cloud. And then you see the little orb come out of it. Come out of it, you know? Like we see on the movies. They got these big motherships. And what comes out of it? Other smaller personal ships. How do we know that shit in the movies and then we see the shit up in the sky and then we ain't supposed to think that that's what it is, you know? <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my God. What was that? Interesting. You guys. <laughs> I got that. I got that. I got that. <laughs> I'm so gangster. I walked outside, walked up to him, slapped the shit out of him. Shut your ass up. I'm trying to go to sleep. And I walk right back into the house, y'all. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Said nobody. <laughs> now that's wild. You see all the people out here filming that thing, so you know it's there. It's not Photoshop. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all seen the video last night, right? When the uh, rocket hit the firmament. What happened, though? The rocket hit the firmament, and then what? It it, it created that little uh that little effect that happened right there. Hold on, I want to show y'all that again, though. Well, when if you if if you haven't if you don't know what we're talking about, it happened on the live. I don't know what at what point you can scrub through the video and find it. It was a little later in the video, but um, it, the same thing happened when it hit the firmament. So, if extraterrestrials are coming through, I think they have the technology to come through the firmament through via portals. They're said that there's many portals everywhere on this planet, you know. But we're not as advanced as other civilizations. And for people, that's going to make a lot of people uh, uncomfortable. But it's okay to be uncomfortable at first. But understand, understand, like if they really want it. Some stuff to pop off and do something to us, they they would do it if they had that type of uh, mindset. Because if they was just on some alien invasion stuff like we see on the movies, they would have been on our ass, you know? These people don't deserve to be here. They can't even get along with each other. They still arguing over, oh, you're white and you're black and you're Asian and <laughs> shit's primitive. But that's a system that, you know, the people that are in control here... But they're losing that control and that's why you see them fighting back in the ways that they're doing on social media with everything and they're trying to silence everybody from speaking the truth i was looking up uh what's that dude casey i want to bring him on for an interview right the dude that'd be talking about flat earth but i got to be cautious too at the same time because i went to go look for him and i'm gonna just disclose this information to y'all because i'm real with this shit. I, I I went to his uh Instagram and I seen bro like how they're trying to silence him. His TikTok they they've been deleting them. His Instagram same thing. He got a new one. And then on top of that, I've never seen it when you click on the video and they give you a warning that this is misinformation. Whoop 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 whoop. But he presents good cases and stuff like that. When has a different perspective been a criteria to silence you? Just like the uh the evolution theory they don't even teach that shit no more but why were, were why were they able to teach that we all know that you don't just move to the side of this world and then you lose your fucking pigmentation and your your your, your uh your blood your, your, the, 
the cells in your blood and shit change, your hair texture change, and then all oh, your athleticism change and your body your body structure changes. That shit don't happen. But why were they able to teach us that stuff coming up? Let's think about that. So they shouldn't be silencing people for having a different perspective on things because he could be right. And I think that's why. Why is Flat Earth so dangerous? Why did they silence the rapper B.O.B.? What, and, 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 and well, they ain't really they blackballed him. Ever since he said that stuff about Flat Earth, he was a superstar at that point, and they shut his ass down once he started speaking about that stuff. And it's not right. How long are we gonna sit around and see these things happen to people? Because the moment that you have a different opinion about something, they're gonna try to do the same for you, and then you'll be looking out. You'll be you'll be like the next person out here looking for help on what to do next you know so we gotta band together and stop this bro we gotta stop all of the the silencing of people that that have different perspective me as a person i think it's interesting i'm not mad at you for having a different opinion you know i hate it when people are not mature enough to be like oh we have a different opinion we have to be enemies we don't have to be enemies we just have to have an understanding that we nigga, we don't agree so maybe we shouldn't even talk about this no more let's move on to something else you know let's be more mature and move on and move with love step with love you know what i'm saying but look i see y'all later on the night dropping a whole nother video you know what i'm saying we're gonna continue the video we was on last night but look i love y'all i see you in the next video like i always say spread love because it's too much hate in this world love you guys and i'm out though Bye.